anybody that does a business because they just want to make money, but they know their products are not good or they're harmful, they're criminals. People that are selling drugs, I'm sorry, hopefully none of you guys are doing any of that stuff. People that are selling products that are trash, Ponzi schemes, scams, etc. Those things are not what I'm into. I'm into having a business that really helps people. If you come to my lines and you get a service, I expect to deliver something of high quality that's going to help you expand. And because of that, I feel totally comfortable being a salesperson. A lot of you guys are listening to me. Do you remember how we operated 20 years ago, right? I remember I was 18 years old. I'm 38 right now. I think I barely had a, a cell phone. It was one of those flip phones uh, when I was 18. I had a very cheap car and have any money then. And the internet, I didn't know how to use it. It was something that is like was over my head. I didn't even understand any of that stuff. My brother was getting into computers. I remember that. But it was not like something that I was consuming all day long. The online internet world. It was definitely not something that captured my attention throughout. Today, it's a very different world. Today, we are all consumed by it and we live with it. And if we go and uh, get out of our houses and jump in the car and we drive halfway to our office and we forgot our devices, we actually drive back. Even if we sacrifice, even if we risk being late to work, we drive back and we're in a bad mood if we spend the day at work without our cell phone devices. We feel incomplete. We want to take a walk somewhere. We don't walk without our cell phones. Uh, we look for devices to attach our phones with us when we're doing exercise. It's pretty insane how we're operating with these things right now. So the world has changed a lot. But let me tell you what one thing that used to happen back 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we all used to listen to radio. 98.7, 95.7, 103.5. We got in the cars and we used to listen to radio and there were a lot of people a lot of people and a lot of brands spending a ton of money on advertising on these platforms. And why did they do that? Well, because again, let's go back to the subject. These platforms, radio, they had attention and they had a lot of attention. So you, you, you were trying to get a little bit of that attention. You were trying to get a little bit of that attention, right? So that's the way, the way that the whole thing works. So what you do here is that you actually grab uh, at that point, just imagine this for a second, just visualize this for a second, 1998, I'm talking about 21 years ago. Imagine that a brand, a, a radio station tells you, hey, I'm going to give you for free a uh, radio station. You already have 100,000 listeners and just go ahead. It's all yours. You can use it however you like. It's like winning the lotto, right? It would be like a huge deal. You can go in there and advertise and get attention and promote and sell spots to other brands. It's a humongous thing that just happened right there, right? If somebody gifted you a radio station, well, we have a similar phenomena right now. This platform called Anchor, which I think is a fantastic platform, allows you to put your message on all these different stations online. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, et cetera, et cetera. All of them, one single place. You can put them everywhere. And that is the power of what we have today. And again, I have a lot of people that listen to my podcast. They download resources. I generate leads. I get new emails. I get people to show up to my webinars. I get leads for my agency. I get all of it because I have a good podcast. So that is a source of content distribution to get my message in front of people to help people and along the way generate leads over my business so I can help them be more successful because in the end, I do business because it helps somebody. Let me tell you the other side of the coin. Anybody that does a business because they just want to make money, but they know their products are not good or they're harmful, they're criminals. People that are selling drugs, I'm sorry, hopefully none of you guys are doing any of that stuff. Uh, people that are selling products that are trash, Ponzi schemes, scams, etc. Those things are not what I'm into. I'm into having a business that really helps people. If you come to my lines and you get a service, I expect to deliver something of high quality that's going to help you expand. And because of that, I feel totally comfortable being a salesperson because I know that I can help you. 
If you come into my service, I'm going to make sure that your business gets more attention. If you come into my course, I'm going to make sure that you do a better job at marketing. And because of that, it's a win-win scenario. I'm trying to grow my business by helping you grow your business along the way. Any business has to have that same approach. So these platforms, we all take for granted, but you are allowed to send out unlimited communications. Think about that. Did you ever have that with a postcard, with a magazine, with a newspaper, with a radio, with a television, with anything? Did you ever have that? I can guarantee you, you didn't. There were limitations. You only had to pay for one eighth of a newspaper page or a one quarter of a page or a magazine page, or you can only send one postcard or you can only do one cookie cutter, 30 second TV ad, or you had a one minute radio commercial. That's not what we have right now. We have platforms that don't put any limits to our communications. I'm actually doing this podcast right now. If I wanted to, it's, it's been already half an hour. If I wanted to, I can be here for another six hours. Am I going to do that? Of course not. I don't want to bore you. And also I have things to do. It's Friday afternoon as I'm recording this, right? But I could do that. I theoretically can actually record myself all day long and be getting my message out there nonstop across Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Snapchat, uh, podcast all day long. And do you know that along the way I'm going to pick up people? Now, maybe I pick up only one in a day, but hey, one is better than nothing, right? Maybe I'm going to pick up two the next day. Maybe I go back to one the next day. Maybe the other day I pick up five, right? And maybe I a video or a message goes viral and now gets listened to by a lot of people. So now I'm doing even way better because, hey, you guys get the idea, right? It's repetition of the message that wins the game. Now, what does it cost you? Grab your phone and document quantity of content. Grab a video guy once in a while and just get them to record you and document something and build a story. If you guys look at my content, I have a combination of both. I have my editing team creating stories and videos for me, and I have my own content that I'm documenting consistently with the use of these platforms that all I got to do is press a couple of buttons and off I go. And I press buttons and I document. And you got to get over that idea that you might have in regards to you're not good enough or it's annoying for people or you got to take it easy or you shouldn't communicate too much or you should calm down a little bit or you should enjoy life or life is short. So, you know, all those things are, are things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to creating content and forget about what people have to say. You might have people making fun of you. Like I've had people making fun of me along the way. It's inevitable, right? But it's all part of the process. So make sure that you figure out number one, what is your message? What is your message? And once you figure that out, your brand is going to do better if you consistently do content, quantity of content. And I'm talking about, let me tell you what the word quantity for me would mean. I'm talking about six posts every single day on a Facebook page, two or three posts on your per personal profile. If you are a personal brand, one podcast a week, at least that's what I'm working towards myself. I'm talking about four, five, six different Instagram stories, two to three Instagram feed posts every day, four or five Facebook stories every day, one, two LinkedIn posts every day. When you do that every single day, Monday through Sunday, 30 days a month, 365 days a year. If you do that, trust me, that first year, you're going to get so good at it. Whatever the content route that you chose, writing articles, doing videos, doing all kinds of messages, no matter what it is, you will be better. And if you're better, you can now get more business. That first year, make it about you. Build a real legacy. When you build a real legacy, you grab your message, you put it in front of people, you help people along the way, and you were able to make your business expand along the way. So that's what I would tell you to do when it comes to quantity of content. Don't start doing, I, I have talked to people that are potential clients and even clients that tell me things like, yes, Manuel, I'm already doing it. I, I actually got hot suite and I have my post schedule and I, I am doing one post a week. So we're doing a great job of that. Guys, you know that that one post is seen by, hmm, let me see, no one. All right. It's just not enough. It's not you're not going to make it that way. You're not going to come back to me and tell me, I already tried social media uh, content and it didn't work for me. Nobody paid attention. Quantity, obsessively, 
Get over the idea of what others might think about your obsessive communication and just do it and just do and just do and just do aggressively. And I promise you, it will get better.